I have for you guys today the Rev G3 distortion pedal and the Joyo Dark Flame distortion pedal. Need I say more? Let's get into it. There are two different pedals that you guys have highly recommended to me over the past years. The first being the Rev G3 distortion pedal, which is modeled after the purple channel on the Rev generator amplifiers. And I absolutely love the Rev generator amplifiers. I just think they have such a great high gain face melting distortion to them. They just sound so, so good. And the other pedal being the dark flame distortion pedal from Joyo. And you know what? Joyo has absolutely blown me away with a lot of their products lately. They are really bringing the heat at a very, very affordable price. So I thought it would be really fun to pit these guys up against each other and see what we thought of the different tones. Let's take a look at a few of our contenders in further detail. Coming in at just under a pound is the Rev G3 distortion pedal. So this pedal has been on the bucket list of pedals for me for quite some time now. It's going to have a three band EQ, a treble, middle and bass, along with a gain knob and a volume knob, which is all very standard for most of your distortion pedals or preamp pedals. But what really makes the Rev G3 very unique is the aggression modes. In the middle is a switch where if you flip it up, you will be in the blue aggression mode, which will add a little bit of extra boost and aggression to your tone. Or if you flip it all the way down, you will be in the red aggression mode, which will take that blue aggression, but even further. Or you can completely turn it off by having it in the middle. But I am very interested to see, will the Rev G3 hold its own or will it go back home to Canada crying? We'll find out. <laughs> Coming in at just half a pound is the Joyo Dark Flame Distortion Pedal. Now, I think this pedal is the most recommended pedal to me from you guys, and I'm super excited to be able to check it out. Joyo has just been killing it with the affordability and the quality of their products as of late. So definitely, I am very excited for this one. The Dark Flame will have a three band EQ, a high, mid, and low, along with a volume knob and a gain knob. And much like the Rev G3, it will also have a toggle switch with a few different settings on it. If you flip it all the way up, you will be on the dark mode. And if you flip it all the way down, you will be on the bright mode, or you can completely turn it off by having it in the middle. And both of these pedals will pretty much have the same different settings on them, which I think makes it for a great shootout between these two pedals. But the question is, will the Joyo Dark Flame become more of a dark horse in this match and bring glory to everyone in China? We will find out.
Now that we've met both fighters in today's match, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison with a full mix demo, including drums, bass, and of course, guitar. But I'm not going to tell you guys which pedals which in the mix. I'm going to have them labeled as A and B, and I want you guys to decide which one is which in the mix. Let's get into it. Now, I just want to say both pedals did an amazing job in today's mix. Both of them were very aggressive. They were tight and percussive at the same time. It was everything that I was looking for for my guitar tone. All the tones were absolutely killer. And as far as the reveal of which pedal was which one in the video, well, the Joyo Dark Flame was pedal A and the Rev G3 was pedal B. Did you get it right? Well, let me know if you got it right or not down in the comments below, along with which pedal was your absolute favorite in today's demo. If you would like to get your hands on either of these pedals, both are absolutely amazing. I will have the links for them down in the description below. If you are enjoying my videos in any way, shape or form, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton here on the channel. And with that being said, my name is Chris with High Impact Audio, and I will see you guys next time.